you're seeing around you nobody moving in, you know, we started to realise things were not going to be as we'd hoped. Never lived in an estate with empty houses, something you've kind of gotten used to. It's really hard to see light at the end of the tunnel because at the end of the day, you know, the houses are getting older and older and you're wondering what's going to happen. And I mean, who's going to buy a house that's actually four years old? And where is that going to put you in your future? I mean, theoretically, you know you're paying a mortgage on a house that's valueless, essentially, because there, how can you put a value on something when there's, you know, 75% unoccupancy? At the end of the day, it's everything we've worked for for 20 years come to nothing. I think we all have to look, take a certain amount of, you know, onus on ourselves that, you know, we're borrowing probably beyond our means, as it were. The banks were all too willing to throw money at us all. The government gave planning permission and councils gave planning permission to a load of developers. And so plans were issued willy-nilly, it would seem, um, and there were so many of them put in for at the same time that, you know, none of them had what they should have to, to safeguard the person buying the houses. Somebody is responsible for when something goes belly up from the top down. Here we've absolutely seen nobody take any punishment whatsoever for what's gone on in the banks, between the government and the banks. And I think at the end of the day, Irish people are not going to feel any sort of, you know, they're not going to feel better at any time soon until somebody pays for that. But I think at the end of the day, somebody wants to see somebody take responsibility for what went on.